Hi, I'm Bill with Photo Focus. Now, while I was in Chicago, I had a chance to meet up with CB Freeland. CB is a travel, landscape, and a CK photographer. CB is going to share a story on how he was able to catch this amazing shot of this CK. So relax, sit back, and enjoy your story from the set. How are you doing, bud? Great, great, great. Well, listen, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to have this interview. Oh, thank you for having me. Now, you're a seascape photographer, among other things. Yes, that's true. I shoot landscape photography and also travel photography. And one of the images that caught my eye was your seascape uh, under this cave, and I thought, wow, beginners would never be able to get this shot yeah, in it, the beginning. Why? That it's one of those things that um, as you progress through your photography, um, you can seek out the normal locations that most people shoot at. But when you get off the beaten track at these sea caves, uh, in this case in Lake Superior, uh, you end up with uh, an image that stands out because it's not necessarily where somebody's been before. Good. And when you first start out yourself, would you have waded through the water? What were you saying? The water was... <laughs> Yeah, but to get to the sea cave in the, in the image, um, we actually had to wade through chest high water in Lake Superior. It was the end of May, so the water was only 40 degrees. Uh, what we did, we had waders on, of course, but still, you, know, you always have that uh, chance of a ro rogue wave coming in, getting you wet, those type of things. But once we were in the cave, you know, it was it's great. You know, there's a lot of room in there. It was fun. Wow, that, that's amazing. Now, what would you recommend, so a new photographer coming out, wanting to shoot, shoot uh, seascapes, okay. what would you recommend to them? Um, practice just in regular locations to begin with. Practice your composition, practice mastering your actual camera. And then from there, by doing that practice, you can, when you go to a more beautiful location, you've already got those skills. You can focus on your composition. You're, you're in the moment thinking about what you want to present as opposed to how to use your camera. Perfect. Perfect. So again, you get the technical side out of the way first. Yes. <clears throat> Once the technical side is out of the way, then you can start being more creative. Because I'm looking at this and I'm in awe. Oh, I love what you did like with the, the sun. The starburst on the sun. Oh, yes. So as a photographer, I'm looking at this thing, wow, he must have shot it around F-22, F-16. Yeah, th that was at F-20, so, yep. And in doing that, of course, um, <clears throat> we're looking at it, you're still getting that motion blur of the waves coming in. Correct. And you're, yep. you're just getting an overall beautiful composition of this. In the beginning, had you have not known to shoot this at a higher F-stop, right. and you shot it at like 2.8 or something, Right. We wouldn't get this result. Oh, definitely. I mean, you would have a very small depth of field. Um, you wouldn't get the longer shutter speed that you needed to draw out the water, smooth it out a little. You know, in the image, I kept the shutter speed a little shorter because I did want some of the movement, that feeling in the photo, you know, to get energy as well. Speaking of energy, so when yeah. we're in Chicago at the Out of Chicago um, uh, conference. The background noise, this is definitely a big city. That's really cool because <laughs> from the trains, the exactly. sirens, the people talking all over the place, it's a really cool vibe. So, but, hey, CB, thank you so much yeah. for sharing this and sharing your story with the set. Oh, thank you so much. I'm Vanelli yeah. from Photo Focus. Thanks I'm for watching.